Hey guys, so this isn't for the faint of heart. Um, I'm going to, I'm coming out in the Reborn community. Um, I am pagan. I follow the Greek pantheon. I love my gods and goddesses, so don't try to change me. Don't try to tell me if you don't convert, you're going to hell. So, just know if you do leave that on these videos, you will be blocked and your comment will be removed. And reported to... Um, ooh, and reported to, uh, YouTube. Now, okay, now, with that being said, let's get over to, this is my working altar. This is, it is my altar to Athena. Um, those, right there, those are roses. Here's the altar and flow, full view. Um, this should really be on Hades. Altar. Actually, it should be on Hestia because, yeah. So this is my altar. This is my full altar. Um, and it has changed some. Uh, this is my altar to Athena. needs to go hang on sorry guys doesn't want to cooperate with me but anyway i have right here is a prayer to athena i always say it whenever i come by my altar um this is just it's i'm just gonna show you how simple you guys can get with an altar um sorry <laughs> it's all like crowded over here um so this is just how simple you can get with an altar i used to sell avon I don't sell it anymore, but this was just an Avon box that I set up to boost this up a while ago. Um, um, so this was just a box for the, um, oh, there's my br blush brush. I use this for my dolls. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, so this was just a box for... A product that I had ordered and they came in like these big boxes so this was just the top of it and I just put that there and then this is just one of those little draws that you guys can use for like your bathroom and it has all paint on it and everything so I just kind of pretty it up with this little towel um this is just a mismatched towel that my parents really didn't care what the hell I did with it so yeah as you can see I have salt for purification um Especially in, I think in any Wicca pagan practice, you're always going to find salt, unless you're working with the dead. Um, and that's a whole other story. But I have an egg to represent um, fertility and spring and everything. And then a little fork and knife, a little... Okay, so anyway, like I was saying... I have two forks and, uh, well, a fork and a spoon, so, you know, if I want to use a little bit of salt for something, I scoop it out. Or if the gods want to use it, then, or she wants to use it, then, yeah. Um, she's more than welcome to. I have a little pot. Um, normally I use, like, little offerings and stuff, leave those in there. But, I mean, again, um, this is just something my grandmother's friend brought her back from. I believe Hawaii, and then a piece of uh, glass, um, one of those, I think it's sea glass, I'm not sure, one of those fake glass marbles. Um, a fake piece of cake, fake cake, so, as a uh, food offering, that's mainly what I use it for, and then it's got fake blood on it, I don't know why. And then I have a shark's tooth, because I do work with the sea. So I always want the sea close, no matter how far I am. I have fire to represent the eternal flame of Hestia, which this should actually go on Hestia's altar, so I don't know. It's supposed to be a bead, but it's supposed to be the torch. Um, so, but it's just polymer clay, it's just orange, yellow, and red polymer clay, stuck on a brown base. So, yeah. So it's just a piece of, um, clay that I keep on here, which is really going to Hestia's altar. An offerings dish of a soul cake, which 
that's got to be cleaned out. Um, and then honey and ginger. An offering of honey and ginger. And then my actual prayer, my thing, my card of Athena, because my picture of Athena. Because I don't have pictures of the gods or statues, so, and I just use this little fairy representation to represent the fae. Um, these flowers are very meaningful to me. My grandfather actually got those for me when I had foot surgery, um, to have a piece of, piece of glass removed from my foot. And then this was given to me by my mom for Valentine's Day. I don't think you can see it here. Hang on. The blinds are in the way. But this was given to me by my mom, my mom uh, for Valentine's Day. And I just keep them in this little vase along with those. That's that altar. And then, <coughs> right here I have a working spell. I'm not showing. Um, so, yeah. And then I just got a little miscellaneous stuff down there. And then this is going to be a soon-to-be altar to Aphrodite. That angel is supposed to be a representation of Aphrodite. Pink, basically anything pink for Aphrodite is what you want to use for her. A bowl of salt for protection. So... I'll show you Hestia, and then I'll show you Hades. So this is my altar to Hestia. It is a work in progress, and this is a top to a cornflower container. Um, so I use them as offerings. This is I obviously, I actually wash out really good, but it's just dusty because I don't have an offering. <laughs> I haven't given her an offering in a while, so which I really got to get onto that. Um, something to represent Poseidon. Just this turtle, and this comes out so. I could put a whole new base in there if I really wanted to. Um, I think the statue, I think this part comes out too. <sighs> Sorry guys, I had to run downstairs to get my mom something. And then a bird that my grandparents actually brought back from Peru when they went on a trip to Peru. Actually my brother's, but my brother didn't really... I kind of got a hold of it first. <laughs> so yeah. And then up here I have an offering of glass that's really got to go on Hades. So, yeah, there's his. And then a bell for purification. So I just, I ring it to purify everything. And this is just a minky cloth that I had to use as a makeshift uh, altar cover. Um, and then I have a picture of Hestia. She is one of the three virgin goddesses, um, the other two being... Athena and Artemis. So those are her. Um, this is Hestia. And then up here I have an original piece of artwork that I did um, based off the Percy Jackson's Hestia. Um, so this is how basically how I envision her to be. And I all I freehanded this all. As you can tell, I'm not very good at drawing. But this is supposed to be Greek fire. Her eyes are supposed to be very smoky kind of color and Greek fire and everything. So, yeah. And that just sits up there, too. That sits up here, too. So, moving on to Hades' altar. Um, Hades' altar is a little bit different setup than most of my altars because, yeah. <laughs> um, my room is mostly dark, so because of... Um, I like to keep it cool in the day because I have two windows, so I have one here and one there. So it gets really hot. Um, I usually keep my blinds down, my lights off, all electronics off, um, with the exception of a fan, so yeah. So on here I have a little offerings plate. It's actually a little Barbie doll pizza thing, but I think it's supposed to spin, maybe? I don't know, I think at one point it spinned and now it's just so old it doesn't spin anymore. So yeah. And then I have a shark tooth. Again, a representation of Poseidon. And, yeah. That is, my grandparents would go on trips and stuff, and they'd bring back shark tooth. Um, they would give them, like, from a little, um, souvenir shops. If you go to the Ripley's Aquarium in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, they have them. And it's pretty sharp. It's fairly sharp. Um... I don't know. It looks like a goblin's shark's tooth, but it couldn't be. I mean, it could. It couldn't be. I don't know. It could be. I don't know. 
um, usually the thinner points of your teeth are for like a soft fish or something. From what I've read. I see turtle to represent Poseidon again. So. This is to represent Poseidon. Um, and then I have my little card for Hades. This is his um, water offerings. Like uh, I'd use it for holy water. Um, or moon water if you so to speak. Uh, moon water. And then in here I have a offerings for him. And it's just in this little like. I don't know, I guess you could use it as like a sugar dish or something. And then it sits on top of this candle holder. And then, um, I know for a fact that he likes the honey and ginger. Um, I just water it down for all time purposes. This is an old cloth that my parents used and it's stained. I used to use it for photography, photography on my dolls. Um, so I'll see if I can't insert a picture at the end of the video and then this is just like a little cappuccino cup my parents got a cappuccino maker for Christmas one year and they never used it so I kind of took the cups and then this is just a cinnamon stick for all intents purposes he uses that as a straw as a straw so those are my altars and then over here is uh, Aaron Hades is fascinated with her um, he loves her <laughs> and she loves him um, now most people will tell you, oh, I don't like my altar in my room because the energy, it interferes with my sleep and da 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 da. Personally, I like the altars in my room personally because it makes me sleep better. I know I'm secure and I'm protected that way by my gods and goddesses. Some people will put them in their living room by their door, um, to protect their house and stuff. And I still believe they do that. Um, whatever room they're in, you know, I still believe they protect you. Um, it's just personally, I like to be around my altars. I like to know what's going on. And for me, it's, it's a better connection to my gods and goddesses if they're in my room. So that's just a little bit about my videos, my altar. So I will upload this and yeah.